when it comes to fishing river systems I'm gonna tell you I simply love river systems and there's a number of different baits that I like to use but the main thing in river systems is knowing where the shad are and how big they are let's look at some of these baits now the video that we're going to see i don't like to even call it a video it was a fishing trail a real fishing trail that's all it was this one right here is a good one folks that's an excellent bait to fish in river systems it's called the tiny fluke bait fish is the name of it and this is the one that done an excellent job yesterday. It's just a three inch shad imitator. That's all it is. But now I've got a lot of different baits right here and some will shine when others won't. This one right here I believe is overlooked. Let's take a look at this one right here. This is made by Bass Assassin. And it's also three inches long but it's a lot beefier type bait. Now, it didn't work uh, yesterday. This one was key. But now if I were to go today, this might be the bait. So that's the reason why I have a lot of different baits that I work with uh, when I fish on river systems. Here's a Z-Man. It's called a trick shot. Now, this, this bait right here is excellent on a jig head. Rage Swimmer, this is an excellent bait on a jig head too. And I tell you what, these baits right here are, are realistic. They're holographic, made by Bento Bait Company. And I have different colors of these. Now these baits right here are excellent for speckled trout and redfish. And they're good on river systems, like for smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, striped. These type of baits right here will catch everything when it comes to fishing river systems. Jig head size, well, you need a lot of different sizes. It just depends on how much current you're having to fight. You don't think that I'll go a fishing? Is that what you're saying? Well, let me tell you something, old boy. I'll show you. I'll go a fishing in there right now. Woo! I'm talking about woo! Okay. There's one. What in the world we got? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put this one in the bucket, folks. That's why I brought me a bucket. I want you to look what a crappie. Right there. I'm gonna show y'all this one. I didn't expect that. I do that all the time out here. Today is not an A1 day at all, but now it's a big old crappie. Woo! My, 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 my. Don't y'all look what a healthy crappie right there. I wasn't even targeting crappie. What I'm doing is just, I come out here just to catch whatever I could. Using a couple or a handful of baits that I love to use weather conditions like this. Look at there, what a fish. I brought me a bucket in case I something like this would happen. And I'm going to put him in there. I'm going to eat that joker. Mm. I'm talking about woo! I've got bit right there and i got another one. Let's see what we got. There's just some fish stacked up behind them rocks. Golly, look here. Looky here, looky here, what a crappie. There's another slab. I usually throw them back when they're that big, but this is kind of unusual out here. Now that's a big old slab right there. I'm gonna eat that joker. I am gonna eat that doggone joker right, whoa. I'm talking about, whoa. Okay. 
My goodness, he's bigger than the other one. These are slabs. Let's see. Look at there. Now there's some fillets. I'm gonna eat them right there. You talking about good. I don't care how you fix them. There we go. Look here, folks. Looky here, looky here, looky here. Let me get off my drag just a little bit because if I don't, I'm going to lose this one. It's not a very big one, but I ain't never seen a real small one before <laughs> when it comes to this fish. We got us a small jaw right here. Oh, he's jumping behind the boat. I'm sorry, folks. He'll probably come back up again. There he is. Golly. That's a small jaw. Come on in here. Nice one, too. He's a keeper. He's definitely a keeper. Look at there. I'll tell you what. A lot of people ask me about bass. Are they good to eat? Well, small mouth are delicious. And it's, it's rare, very rare that I keep one to eat. I mean, this may... It's probably been three or four years or more since I kept one to eat. And I hope y'all don't give me a thumbs down because I do throw back probably 95% of the fish that I catch. Probably throw back at least 95% of the fish I catch. That fish is around 16 inches. And he's going to go good with these crappies. They're delicious. Look at there, look at there, look at there. I mean, I brought a lot of stuff with me, but this is my smallest jig that I brought. And that's the tiny flute made by Zoom. Uh, I've used them before. And they're a catch-all type bait. And I'm fishing for uh, using it just like I would any other crappie jig. I'm just reeling it real slow. Slow, methodical wine. But the deal is, I've covered a lot of water and I've caught three crappies, so they're not um, scooped up, they're just scattered. But I'm making a lot of cast, and they're holding on rocks. Sure are, right in behind rocks. So it's not what I call a fantastic crappie pattern, but it certainly is working. And I stumbled into that um, by catching that first fish, and it, you know, it clued me in on what I need to do, and that's just simply fish eddies and rocks. Pretty cool, ain't it? You never know what you're going to catch when you got a catch-all type bait. Mm. Whoa, here now. Yep. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't leave this spot right here, folks. Let me let off my drag right here. That's exactly why. I, golly. He's trying to get down there in them rocks and everything. Golly, he won't quit. I may have to use the net on this one. It's not a small mouth. He's not fighting like a small mouth, but... God, what a spotted bass. What a spotted bass. Tennessee River spotted bass. Hey, that's a good one right there. If he'll quit. Now, he hit that little bitty. I tell you, them are deadly baits, folks. Them are some deadly dynamite little baits right here. I hope he stays pinned. 
I'm going to show y'all. This is a good spot here. My, my. Whoa, what a spotted bass. Now that is a good quality spotted bass. When I stuck her, when I stuck that fish, it was no give. I knew it was either, I figured it was either a small mouth or a big spot because they just would no movement at all. And that's the kind of fish you can catch with tiny, tiny baits. Uh, they really work best on high pressure water systems. You'll, you, it's remarkable how many fish you can catch on them tiny baits. Beautiful fish. There ain't a thing in the world like that. That's what the sport of fishing is about. Right there. I believe we're going to call it a day. Folks, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you my two. These are my prize fishes right here today. I enjoyed catching that big bass. But look here what some big crappie. Now them are slabs. I normally don't keep them that big. But now, I tell you, I'm going to satisfy my woman one way or the other. Because if you got a good woman at home, boys, take care of them. Now, they ain't nothing like a doggone good woman. Now, I want to say thank y'all very much for all y'all do. All the great comments, and thank you for spending a few minutes with me out here in the great outdoors. We're blessed here in the United States. There's no doubt about it. Things will get better. Hold your head up. Woo! Remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good food!